Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The Great Mansion Arlington was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1974, one of ten National Landmark buildings in Natchez. Built about 1818 for John Hampton White and his wife, the former Jane Serge, Arlington was arguably the grandest federal-style mansion in Natchez. The mansion featured Flemish pond brickwork, windows with marble sills and lentils, and an entrance portico with marble floor and giant order Tuscan columns. The portico sheltered the city's grandest entrance doorway, crowned with an elaborately detailed large semicircular fanlight. The central hallway, almost 17 feet in height, was one of the city's grandest interior spaces, lighted at each end by the matching semicircular fanlights of the front and rear doorways, and interrupted midway by a third fan-lighted doorway opening into a side stair hall. Tucking the staircase in a side hall was a favorite architectural device employed by Natchez builders at houses like Rosalie, Melrose, Dunleith, Stanton Hall, and others. The hallway also served as a picture gallery, hung with copies of old master paintings collected on a European grand tour. Arlington contained one of the great collections of decorative arts in the Natchez area, with furniture by some of America's best cabinet makers, including Charles Lanyuet, Joseph Meeks, and Charles White. The library contained one of the city's most important collection of books, including a bound copy of Audubon's Quadrupeds. Tragically, on this day, on September 17, in 2002, Arlington caught fire and almost burned to the ground. In an attempt to save the structure, the historic Natchez Foundation reframed and roofed the house. Today, however, the house survives as little more than a burned out shell. My name is Mimi Miller. I'm executive director of the historic Natchez Foundation. Hope springs eternal and I still have hope for Arlington. This has been your Natchez History Minute.